Stingrays in the yellow and blue. And it's the Stars in white, navy and red. And they chip the puck into the Stingray zone to get this underway. Osman trying to hold off the hit. Will split his time between defence and forward tonight in the absence of Omar Pasha. And one of the reasons Pasha picked him up was indeed that versatility. Here's Matt Ryan. Under pressure, reverses it back into the corner. Singles after it, Chartrain and Davis between them. Are able to take the puck away. And now the Stingrays will look to come forward for the first time with Lark. Lozon goes towards the goal, Chevery makes his first save. Mitchell can't get it clear. Lark absorbs the hit, Stingrays possession on the far side. Hit comes in, but nothing called. And it's around to Jamieson, his first touch of the night. Quick dispossessed, this is Lozon. Trying to get it out front, and McCluskey does well to keep Davis away from it. Both teams at will make line changes. Assessing his options, feeds it across, and it was turned on goal by Galbraith, and kicked aside, and a penalty is coming. Gongalski is going to go after he got tangled up with Galbraith. And it's going to be a cross-checking minor, and an early power play for the Stingrays. was just out of the reach of Meyer, but a good stick lift from Davis won it back. Although it is the Stars who reissue the situation. And will now come forward with McKenzie. That's deflected. And Osman leaves it to Brown, who's happy to cover up. There is Gongalski. Pass back to Quick. Room to step in and shoot. Oh, and it's off Brown and off the post. And that's as close as anyone has been. Brown got a little bit of shoulder onto it. And it went clang off the pipe. An opportunity now, oh, Galbraith moved it to his forehand, but he couldn't flick it past Chevery. Chances at both ends in the space of 10 seconds. Now McKenzie, and the pass was just a little bit behind Gongalski. Then Davis gives him a shove and the Stingrays will look to break. Meyer with the first time pass forward, and that one is gonna be icing. They're gonna bring that one all the way back. Nicely bounced off the boards for Lozon. Stingray trying to work a three on two. Davis is trailing. Oh, and he couldn't move it to get a shot away. Now he tries to wrap one through, and it's saved down low. And Chevery doesn't let it get away too far. Stingray's commit two to the corner to win it, but there was no one on Dolan, so he had time to send it down the ice. Blight chases after it. Turcotte across just in time. And then Jamison goes down, and there is no penalty called by the official facing the play, but there is by Mike Hicks trailing the play, so the advantage of the two referee system there, as it's the one that behind the player that was able to spot the penalty on Chris Blight. Oh, and the little tip at the side of the goal just doesn't quite work out for the Stingrays. Plumpton tries to fire it down the ice. Oh, and that's gonna be a penalty. The hit that came in. And took out Brendan Jameson. And he's going to send Blight to the box. So straight out, straight back in. A boarding minor right in front of his own bench. Davis. No room to get it to lock. Oh, there is room for Davis to bring it out. But there's a penalty coming. And it's tripping on Lozon. He's heading straight to the box. He knows he's the guilty man on that one. And again, the two-man referee system pays dividends. No way the referee in front of the play would have been able to see that, but the one lurking behind, James Ashton, saw it. Now quick, no way past Jameson. Here's a breakaway. Here's an opportunity for Zach Avato. Penalty called, and Zavato had his shot saved by Chevery, and it's a penalty shot. The call made by Mike Hicks. It is a penalty shot for the whole Stingrays with a minute and 10 to go in the first period. Chevery has looked unbeatable so far tonight. Opportunity here for Zach Avato to change all that. Crowder into it. And here comes Zach Havato. And he's crashed it off the angle of post and bar. 
An inch lower, an inch to the left, and Chevrolet would not have stopped it. And Blight's out of the box, and it is Stars power play time. Oh, we've got a collision at centre ice, and there's no interference call. The Stingrays aren't happy with it. And this five on four, they thought they should have had a penalty there, but that will just about do it for the first period, which somehow incredibly has finished scoreless. 11 seconds of penalty still remaining on Carl Lozon. So we will start five on four in Dundee's favour at the start of the second period. It's the Stingrays in yellow and blue who win the draw. Stars in white and navy. And the final couple of seconds will now tick away as the Stingrays send the puck the full length of the ice. Lozon is back out. We skate five on five in the second period. League and Gardner conference action here at the whole ice arena. A glove high up from single. No call. Possibility of a, a high sticking there, but play continues. Tanaka sneaking in. Here he is. Tanaka scores! And there's the breakthrough that Stingray so desperately needed. And they've got it through Corey Tanaka. Now Ryan has to wait while his teammates make a line change. Banks it off the referee. Uh, it's the men in yellow who have it back. Lark taken off him by Plumpton. This is dangerous for Mitchell. His shot goes wide. Bounces into a dangerous area and put in by Mitchell. The bounce off the boards. And the pass back out is slapped in for an equaliser for the Dundee Stars. That's the response they were looking for. And they've got it at 24-10. In the end, no harm done. And now Lozon trying to cut into a dangerous area. He's crowded out. Taking it on was Davis in his shot. Bounced away off a loose stick that was sitting there. But Lozon scores off the feed out front. And you know he loves that. Some Stingrays fans were asking questions about how he started the season. They won't be asking any more. Lozon has put the Stingrays back in front. Plumpton with the opportunity to clear off the glass. And he does so, and the Stars will bring it into the offensive zone. Hutchins around the back. Dolan, McKenzie saved up high and put in on the rebound. The Stars have equalised for the second time. And it's Barry McKenzie who got it back off Brown and made no mistake second time around. that won't show up on the stat sheet but a crucial intervention might have just kept his team level Davis back to Galbraith Lark, Galbraith, Lark all the way around the back of the goal and then bounces it off the boards to Chartrain who moves centrally Lows on Galbraith is sneaking in at the far side Chartrain, here is Galbraith oh the puck just bubbled on him Final 10 seconds, Stingrays have opportunity here. Can they work one last good shooting chance? Chartrain, they can. Oh, it was blocked in front. And that will do it for the second period. It was Kongalski who made the block. And a very good period, a very entertaining period. Ends tied. A few words between some of the players and the officials as the the rest of the squads made their way to the locker rooms. And to the far side, and Ryan, here's Quick. Gets it back to Ryan. Oh, an opportunity and a goal for Chris Blight. The one-time shot, and Brown couldn't get across to it. And the power play goal works. And the Stingrays find themselves behind for the first time tonight. Stars will think about a break, and it'll just be slapped off the boards. Oh, my word. Oh, and... It was the net kicked off? It was, but not intentionally. Brown was just scrambling to get back as the shot that went wide from McKenzie bounced back off the boards. Brown was trying to chap it on the rebound. It got beyond him. And the shot, which I think was going wide in any case. But dear me, David Brown. 
nervous moments. Here's Blight again. Dolan, wonderful goal! Ripped into the top corner. And that'll probably do it. And again, Lozon trying to draw it back to Galbraith. Can't do it. Davis. Down the boards for Lark. On for Meyer. Slap to the behind the goal, trying to work it out. Oh, and the puck bobbles and it just hops over the stick of Chartrain. Lows on, Davis. Opportunity, Chartrain's missed the goal. Working the puck around, they need to get the shot away. Galbraith, big blast, blocked in front, he'll have another go. Oh, he tried to play the pass. Pasha thought he should have shot, the puck will go down. Will it go in? It will, with one second to go. The goal will count. And it's another home defeat for the Stingrays. Five out of five, and no points. Another conference game has got away from them. And it's a road performance to be very proud of for the Stars, and in particular, netminder Mark Chevery.